Multiple improvements have been made to the 2D machining capabilities of PowerMill 2018. First, consistently with the pre-existing 3D area clearance strategies in PowerMill, stock collision avoidance has been introduced for 2D specific area clearance toolpaths, namely feature and pocket area clearance strategies and the corresponding rest machining ones. I'm going to show you this new feature by activating a toolpath designed to machine the central pocket. As you can see, I'm collision checking against the model and the features, but not against the stock. If I simulate this toolpath, I can see no obvious collisions, even when my tool goes deep into the chosen pocket. I'm now going to activate a second toolpath, programmed with the exact same settings as the one I've just simulated beforehand. However, in this case I'm collision checking against the stock as well. Once again, when simulating, I can see no clear collisions. I'm now going to show you the difference between the two toolpaths using ViewMill. When I simulate my first toolpath, where I have not collision checked against the stock, you can now see that we have a collision between the tool holder and the stock, indicated by the red parts on the model in ViewMill. If I now simulate my second toolpath in ViewMill, we can see that this time PowerMill has adjusted it to avoid any type of collision between my tool and the stock. This is clearly visible as no part of my model is shown in red. The second improvement we have made to PowerMill 2018 is the introduction of a new strategy named Feature Finishing. This studio specific finishing toolpath allows users to machine side walls and flats of multiple features in a single operation. In this example, I have created a feature finishing toolpath to machine the pockets and the bosses on the top face of my part, all at the same time. If I enter the toolpath settings, this is how the main tab looks like. Most of it should look familiar to existing users, apart from this drop down menu on the top, where I can choose whether I want to machine the walls the flats or both. In this case, I want to machine both the flats and the walls of my features. I can now navigate to the Wall Cut Distances tab and choose whether I want to specify the number of cuts or the stock width. After setting the step down and step over, I'm going to do the same for the Flat Cut Distances tab. The last thing I'm going to show you for this toolpath before calculating it is the Order tab. For this specific strategy, we have five advanced ordering options if the user decides to machine walls and flats at the same time. Width first, width first with final wall passes, thin walls, whereas the tool approaches the walls, toolpath segments will shift upwards, depth first, and depth first with final floor passes. In this case, I want to machine my features using a width first approach. Calculating this toolpath, you can see the result on my part. The third improvement we have made to PowerMill 2018 is the introduction of another new strategy named Top Fillet Machining. Used for breaking the sharp outside edges of a model after it has been completely machined, this strategy minimizes end the burring operations. This toolpath works similarly to the chamfer milling strategy and allows users to machine rounded edges using bold nose tools or user-defined routing tools. In this case, I've created a routing tool that matches the geometry of the fillets I have on the four bosses of my part. The main tab of the toolpath settings looks like the one for the chamfer milling strategy already present in previous versions of PowerMill. The user can choose in both axial and radial directions whether to define the fillet using as a reference the desired number of cuts, the top fillet extent or the stock extent. In this case I want to define the fillets by number of cuts. After having defined the tool position with respect to the top or bottom of my fillet, I can calculate this toolpath and see how it will look like on the part. And this is a summary of the improvements we have made to 2D machining toolpaths in PowerMill 2018.